Got the layout for another cabin, very similar to the one that I've been working on. There's no electricity here. There's no water here. You can see it's surrounded by forest. There's pine, oak, cedar, a few hickory trees. But this cabin will be a, another 12 by 16. And where I'm standing right here will be the front porch. It'll just have one porch on it. And this stake right here will be the front of the, uh, the porch itself. I have one of the forms set here. I'm doing a little bit different way of setting these. These are actually suspended over the, the pier footing. These are 12 by 12 inches. I've got a two before that's screwed to the side of the form itself. And I've got them anchored down with 12 inch spikes. I came in from the corner of the string, a uh, two inches, which will be the, the out, uh, actual edge of the form on the end. The weight of the floor will actually set on these piers and I'm letting the, the seal logs actually set closer to the front edge of the pier where I can have room to get the floor joists and the beams across on the back side of the pier to carry the floor system. Well, we are here at a place that I like to call Paradise Point. We have everything ready to uh, pour some concrete today. We got all the, the pier forms set. All of the steel is in the footings. Got our anchor rods in. I'd like to point out this little piece of water hose here. There was somebody made a suggestion, I do not remember who it was, to uh, put a piece of garden hose over the, the threaded rod to keep cement off of it. I don't remember who you are, but I do thank you, and we're doing that here. What we will do is pour the footing part of it first, a little bit stiffer, then we'll come back and we'll fill the, the form up here up with a little bit wetter concrete so that I can make sure that we don't have honeycombs. This is Brother Wayne. This is gonna be his cabin and his wife, and we are so excited that he asked us to help him build a cabin and we are really looking forward to this so y'all just hang on and enjoy the ride with us It's a couple of days and a hard rain later and I'm going to go ahead and strip these forms so they can cure out really good and let's just see how they turned out. I'm kind of excited to see them.
got the form stripped off. This will let them cure out better and get set up really good. Now I've got to go back to the log yard and pick out some logs. Thank you.